Oh, I better turn that sound right off. <laughs> Is it working? Can you hear me? Can you actually hear me this time? Can you actually hear me this time? Like properly, like from this microphone. Okay, well anyways, welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, today's gonna be a big day. So I was I was looking on um on the whoa, the chat went crazy. So I was looking on the interwebs and apparently this patch update is coming with even more stuff than what they teased. So we're going to just be reacting to it. I didn't wanna like you know, learn everything at once because I wanted to react to it on the live stream. So what we are going to do, can I, is there a way that I can set up the chat to like pop out? It's so small on this screen and I'd rather it be bigger. Oh, there is a pop out chat. Ooh. Oh my God, there's so many people here. What? There's so many people. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good. How is everyone's day? Are you guys up to any fun? So today we're going to be um, watching the live stream. We're going to be going over the patch notes. We're going to be doing everything. We're going to be doing some discussion. Do you guys like this? The live discussion? Would you rather me do like discussion videos? Well, let's say let's say I do discussion live streams. Would you guys like that instead of just doing discussion videos? Because I feel like it's kind of boring when we like you know, make videos talking about stuff and then I have to upload it to read your comments and stuff. I feel like if we were to go live and talk about it together, it would be more fun and entertaining. I don't know. That's just a thought of mine. And I want to do it with some of my friends. So like, how would you feel? Do you guys know who Rachel Fantasia is? How would you feel if we did it together? A discussion live stream series together? Would y'all watch? She's like my best friend. I love her. So I've been talking to her about it and She's thinking on it, so hopefully she's going to be interested in doing that. Oh my god, the chat is moving so fast. Whoa. 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 Oh my god. Alright, so I got the stream pulled up and ready, but I don't think they have started streaming yet. Let me refresh and just make sure. Yeah, they haven't they haven't um, gone live yet. They usually go live like about what is it? It's like 10 minutes before. Yeah, because when they started the last Inside Maxis, they started the stream with a 10 minute countdown. So they're going to go live at 150, which is in three minutes. So we can just talk. So predictions um, for those of you that don't know, what else do you think is coming with this update? Do you think we're going to get loft beds or do you think it's just going to be bunk beds and um, as far as the improved traits, what do you think that means? What does improved traits mean? Someone in the comments, oh my God, if I, hold on, let me look up the comments on my last video. Let me look, <laughs> you guys were, you guys were savage in the comments. The, um, one of the top comments was, what I imagine when I hear improved traits, this comes from a username confused. What I imagine when I hear improved traits, more traits, bigger diversity, more depth for previous traits, what EA imagines when they say trait improvements, adding, Oh my God, it just blinked away. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, what EA imagines when they say trait improvements, adding brighter colors to existing trait icons. <laughs> you guys are savage. I swear, if I'm having a bad day, I just look in the comments and you guys say the funniest stuff. You guys are so funny. The fact that they're not telling us what improved traits means, it's not gonna do shit. You guys are mad. You guys are like, like I just feel like you guys are just like, at your wits end right now with this game. Like, is that really where you're at? I just feel like everyone's just so done with it. <laughs> you think there's gonna be loft beds? Thank you. Patch notes are out. Okay, I don't think we have enough time. Do we have enough time to look at patch notes? Shoot, I don't even know if we have enough time to look at patch notes. All right, well, I don't know if we're gonna even, hold on, let me pull them up. Mmm, they're long. Should we just wait till after? Or should I just make a video about it later? I don't know. God, it's long. It's kind of long. Hold on, let me see if I can... SimGuru Nick usually posts them, right? Yeah, let me see if SimGuru Nick has a... 
happy patch day. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's see. Let me just, let me zoom out. Let me take a broad look at these. Yeah, these are long. It's a lot of pictures. Do you want to start? I don't know. I don't know. What do you want to do? We have, we have 10 minutes till the stream. The chat's moving so, I can't even read the chat. It's moving so damn fast. I've never, <laughs> the chat's never moved this fast in my life. I'm, I'm shocked. I can't even, can I put on slow mode? Are you guys okay if I put on slow mode? It's just like, I can't read the chat. It's moving so fast. Hold on. How do I do it? Do, 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 do. How do I do it? How do I do it? Oh my god, thank you for the- Oh my god, thank you for the super chat. What? Thanks for the live stream, Matt. Thank you. Oh my god, I- I'm- I don't, I don't want to mess up your name. Jay Garessi 70 thank you for the super chat. That means so much to me. Thank you, thank you. You're amazing. Okay, let me see if I can put on slow-mo because I can't read this chat. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. I might just not even bother. Okay, have they started the stream? Have they started it? Let's refresh. Let's refresh and see. No, where is it? They haven't started it. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, I got my uh, uh, Sim soundtrack playing in the background. I'll probably turn it off before the the official um, Maxis stream starts. Don't worry, it won't get in the way or anything. I just figured I would turn it on while I'm talking because I hate like talking in dead silence. It's really awkward to me. I don't know. That's why I put music in my videos. I hate just videos with no music and just talking. I feel like you can hear too many like sounds with the mouth, you know, when someone's talking and I don't I don't like all that. That stuff gives me anxiety. Oh, Paralives. Who's excited for Paralives? Kiss, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. It's your chat, baby. Do whatever you want. Put it in slow mode. Love you. I love you too. Thank you. You guys are sweet. Oh, hi from New Zealand. What's up? Alicia, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super sticker. Whatever. They introduce these sticker things. I don't know what it is, but thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my god, yeah, Paralyze. Oh my god, don't even get me started. When do you guys think Paralyze is coming out? Do you think it's going to be coming this this year or next year? Or do you think it's going to be like another like three, four, maybe five years? I think it's going to be a while because even though their team is growing, People don't realize like how long it takes to actually, you know, develop a game. Like it takes a long time, a really, really, really long time. Thank you for the super chat poop oof. <laughs> I love your username. Thank you, Dean, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jashania. Thank you. You guys are sweet. You guys left the craziest comments. Someone said, yay, we get bunk beds after six years. Someone said, hey, can we play how many things will this update break again? <laughs> you guys are mad. You guys, you guys are mad as hell. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if it's on now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is it on? Wait, what if they're not going live? Are they going live? Did I get the time right? Or is it all in my head? I don't see anything on their Twitch page yet. Boom, 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 boom. Big Jello 17, thank you for the super sticker. Decade, thank you. You're so appreciated. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. What are you guys doing? Plum ups and pineapples. Love your content. Thank you. Thanks so much. So happy my little storyline can be used with this patch. I know. I'm so, I'm, 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 I'm seriously excited. I'm so happy we're finally getting the bunk beds. I love my mods and custom content. Don't get me wrong. I have my custom content bunk beds, but they're a little glitchy from time to time. So I'm hoping that, you know, these EA ones will definitely run a lot better. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't even keep up with this. What is, I can't even, I can't even do this. You guys, Amanda, thank you for the super chat. You're my favorite SimsTuber, thank you. 
Hey, love, will you stay on live and read us the patch notes? Yeah, I will. If you guys want me to, I, I, I will. I think you're so adorable, hilarious. Love you, Matt. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. I can't even keep up with this live chat. What is going on? Keep up with the good work, Matt. Thank you. Oh my God. All right, are they live? Let's refresh. They're still not live with the countdown. Maybe they're not doing a countdown. I don't know. You're so amazing. Love all that you do. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, let's refresh again. I think it's on now. It's still not on. Maybe I started too early. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to start so early. I shouldn't have started so early. Can you put the slow chat on please? I'm trying, I don't know how. Hold on. I don't know how. <laughs> Hold on. Slow chat, slow chat, slow chat, slow chat, slow chat. There's gotta be. I'm, fi I'm trying to figure it out. I'm sorry, hold on. Oh my God, I can't do this, it's too much. Do you like anime? I used to, I used to be really into it and I, I haven't been into it as much lately, but um, in high school I was in anime club. <laughs> I loved anime club. Anime club was fun. Hi from Chicago, thank you. Oh my God, doodle doodle, thank you. What the heck, you guys? <laughs> okay, let me try to figure out how to do this, all right? Let me, let me, let me try to figure this out here. Do, 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 Stream health, viewer, analytics. I don't know how to change it. I don't know. Maybe there's like an edit for the chat. I don't know. Disable recording, close captions, enable DVR. Normally there's like a setting for that, you know, but there isn't. Hold on, let me go back. Let me try this. Let me, let me, let me try this. I'm gonna go to edit title. Oh no, it's not edit title and description. I could bet you I can't change it now that I've started the stream. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay, it's live. They're live now. I'm switching over. You guys ready? Doom, doom, boom, 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 boom. So we switched to YouTube game. And now my camera should be in the corner. And now you can see it, right? It says they were live. Maybe they aren't live, hold on. Watch now. Okay, they, they are live. This is the live stream, okay. All right, we're good. We got it, we got it, we got it, they're live. Oh my gosh, you guys are going crazy. I can't even keep up. Hi from Kansas, hope you're well. Sky Queen, thank you. Where are we watching from today? What country are you guys from? I know I have a lot of viewers from all around the world. I'm from the generic old United States of America, so I mean, ain't nothing too special here. My sim just had a baby girl and I need help naming her. Name her, I don't know. Name her after yourself. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Big Jello. <laughs> Everyone always calls me senpai, oh my gosh. That was like my nickname in high school. It was from Europe, France, England, UK, Georgia, USA, Argentina, Germany, Brazil, Spain. Who said Antarctica? I know you're lying. <laughs> I know you're lying. Are there people that are settled on Antarctica? Are there actually people that are settled down there? Or no? Are there like... <laughs> <sighs> Somebody said Willow Creek. You do not live in Willow Creek. There might, hey, there might be a town or a city with that name in real life, though. Yeah, name her bunk bed. <laughs> S 
Sweden and Germany, Houston, Poland, Chicago. Thank you, Mystic Sims. You are my Sim buddy and we are getting loft beds. Yes. Yes. I noticed that the Sims uploaded like a little teaser trailer thingy to, um, 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 whatchamacallit. Wait, can I turn on slow chat on my phone? Probably not. I don't even know. You're asking about my pronouns? He and him. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. I have them um, pretty much everywhere, but um, I don't say them in my videos, but yeah. That's nice of you to ask though. That That's really nice of you to ask. All right, it should be going live now. Are we going live now? Yay, here we are. One, and welcome to Inside Maxis. This is our new live stream series where we get to share news directly with all of you about everything happening in the Maxis universe. I'm SimGuru Azure. Oh, it's Sim Azure. Azure. I said it. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. In my video, I said it wrong. For today. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Can you yeah, guys hear uh, the stream? I just wanted to say I'm a concept artist working at the team, and Azure is. I'm a producer. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for um, reminding me that. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and today we're going to take a quick look at today's agenda. And it's the patch update that you've all been waiting for, bunk beds. Yes! Um, let's see. And we also have rooms prepared and also the hair is prepared. We're going to show off today. So whenever we're ready, we'll do that. Thank you for the super chat, Jashani. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okie dokie. So, look at the pictures. I That's the first totally thing I noticed. Have prepared, not with the help of my wife, <laughs> this beautiful house. Aww. And as you can see here, we have some of the hairs on display. They're looking amazing, if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. This is the girl's hair, and we'll take a closer look in Create a Sim, but I just wanted to show <gasps> off first. John, thank you and for the $50 here, super have... chat. <laughs> thank the you. Hair. And it looks really good. You're amazing. And behind. Thank you, Robert. We have <gasps> the bum, 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 the bum 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 Oh, you notice my- <laughs> um, first, we're gonna take a quick Norman look Rockwell vinyl. <laughs> of Create a Sims, just so we can get a closer look. So, just one sec. She has to, you know, get ready. And if we could show the before and an after view of Febene Lovo. New hair. This oh! is the little puff balls at the top of the head. I so think cute. they turned I out love so good. It. He looks so good. We see this actually has really pretty baby hairs attached to it. It looks like she has, you know, a scalp. I love the baby and I hairs. Love that the puffs That's are good. More defined and you can see the curls. I love yeah, this hair. Can. It's really cute and like. The artist did such an amazing job. Finally, POC see hairs are hair fixed. Yes. The back of the neck, the part is like really nicely done, and I'll even show it. Teen. Oh boy. <laughs> New style Gosh, now. Let's let's give her puff hair. There we go. That looks <laughs> really, really wow. cute still. Sims team yeah, is stepping it up, guys. Sims team is stepping it up. And, and more, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's change her back. Change her back really quick. And then this is the male hair. What do you think, Asher? I love it. I love Aww. his hairline and his little fade. 
<laughs> I love the fade. That fade. looks good. Mm -hmm. That looks good. There is a lot of love put into this, and it does. It looks so much better. I, love I agree. The texture of the curls, you can still see everything, and the even the textures really are so nicely, much better too. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. gonna put this one on some of my Sims in my game today. Yeah, I'm definitely because <laughs> it's out. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really nice looking. And then, yeah. You guys, the music Exorcist. that you're hearing now is not my music. That's a part of the stream. I can't turn we'll their music down. I've already muted it. mine. And I know it's kind of loud. I'm sorry, else? but I can't what control else? that. Oh, yes. The new variants for the pictures. Yes. Damn. So turn the bunk it down. beds. Um, <laughs> children loud. and older can use this bed. And players will be able to slot a toddler uh, bed into it, but that needs to be done by hand. Mm -hmm. It's not my Let's music. Take a little lazy nap. <laughs> Very cute. And we can yeah, it's not her. my music. I'll show off the climbing animation. I want her to read under. Here, I'll mute the stream. Look, see, my music's off. Now my music's on. Now my music's off. Oh, now the stream's right. on. Under the covers, reading instead of sleeping. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to. Yeah. My mom would always check, be like, is anyone awake in here? <laughs> we can see in the background here, too, we have some new variants for these posters. Different skin tones. Oh, uh -huh. there she is. There she is. No I love the imagination VFX. I know. Every time we add them everywhere. It just makes me so happy. These are like my favorite to do because I've seen these when when the artists are drawing them and you see them on a you know on the screen and then you see them in game and they this look looks so, so cute. cute. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, so like this is my cute. Favorite things. We could see some more posters here too. Cool. Wait, did they update the posters too, or is it just the I like, picture I like frames? The animation when they get off of the bunk bed too. This is exactly what I had to do. There's the, you know, you have to like crawl back. <laughs> Hold on. Mm -hmm. Bunk beds are just such a great space saver too. They, they like really I'm are. Be able to put some more toys into my kids, you know, rooms because I can stack the beds on top of each other. It's exciting. Exactly. And let's get him up. I'll show off the variants really quick. If you would just go here, sir. Let's see. I'll show off the variations in the different colors as soon as nice. it lets me. I really like this one. My my wife totally did decorated this room. So <laughs> yeah, the I update is live for those of you asking. We have a lot of different covers. Mm -hmm. Oh. The guitar set is really funny. I love the guitar. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> this would be... Let's see. Oh, no. The audio is muted. We can't hear them. <laughs> okay, perfect. never mind. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. If it was... Something's going wrong with the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's mics see. Are out. We'll hey, also... each kid has to show off their personality, right? Yeah, you know. Mine is mine is goth. And then here is. They updated the posters with Metal more one. skin tones. Okay, that's awesome. Nice. This is just. Uh, I love that. Top. So we are getting lost. The metal beds. one was the one I had as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I, I had a metal one too. <laughs> I had a metal bunk bed. What do you think, Azure? Which is your favorite? I like the metal one, just for nostalgia factor. I totally agree. Can they when reverse little, the ladder the onto the well, other side? And I would always put posters all over the inside. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Let's change it back, though. Okay. So can they flip? All right. And then we'll just uh, the ladder. See more of the variants. Oh, I love these. <laughs> They're so cute. Mm -hmm. They're this cute. is a variation of the wedding portrait, I believe. In the original base game, we just had, you know, two rather medieval-looking folks. 
It was good. <laughs> it was good, but we thought let's get a little bit of a little bit of diversity in here. Yeah, I, I love, love this it. one. It's so sweet. I'm mm -hmm. I'm so happy. The gay couple. They look so oh. happy to fall. And then look. <gasps> oh, I love it. <laughs> this reminds me of my wife and I. Oh. It's gorgeous. I love this one. And then this one. I think this nice. is so neat. It, it's like you know, different ancestors of the past. It's like my this. house. We have our ancestors on the wall at my house. <laughs> That's so cute. Mm -hmm. I just. I love this. Reminds me of like Italian grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. See, That's cool that they updated those. I was variants, not expecting that. And this update isn't that cool bad. Ones, I think, I'm, I'd I say think I'm pretty pleased with this update. Really good. You could have so much different variation in your Sims, and it's important to reflect that. Yeah. I love it. A cute fro. Fantastic. All right. So what else are we showing off, Azure? We've done the hairs. We've done the bunk beds. We've showed off the paintings. So now we get to uh, talk about some other things in the pack. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So the normalized everyday activities. Mm -hmm. um, now Sims could get a bio break, a shower, a meal, all done an hour before they have to go to work instead of, uh, you know, sometimes in the past it would take a little bit and uh, my Sims are completely guilty of like being maybe an hour late to work <laughs> because they're still going all to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a little unfortunate. They missed out on a lot of promotions because, I don't know, maybe they showed up two hours late because they had to have a toaster strudel. Uh, what else, Azure? And we also, um, if you look in the patch notes, you can see that we have uh, you think that's a just hint? some more meaningful base game traits. We've added some things to the base game traits to make them a little more meaningful to players. Um, so one example, my favorite example, is that bookworm sims finally get to have uh, fun from more fun from books than they get from gaming on their phones. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's and, really uh, tough, I think. <laughs> yeah. And if you look at the patch notes, you'll be able to see like each, you know, trait that we made um, a little, uh, she a said little pack? addition to. So I think that's pretty fun. Wait, for this, I completely missed for this that. Update. Important to expand on the base game traits and make them more interesting mm -hmm. as well. What did she say that was a generation that I, I really missed like it? the thing about the bookworms because oh I know when I was younger, I was much more interested in reading a book than, well, we didn't really have. <laughs> the video games are still, you know, they're just starting out, so mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not as fun. What, what was the generation's um, hit? I, think, I missed uh, it. After showing off this, uh, Azure, we should move on to the Sims 411, correct? Absolutely. Let's do the Sims 411 right now. She said pack. Okay. You guys so, think Generations is actually um, going to come? We know that everything isn't exactly rainbows and butterflies all the time. And we want to talk about a few hot topics that we've been hearing from you and a sneak peek on what's coming next in the next patch. Uh, we'll try and make this regular patch. on our live streams. And so please stay tuned to figure out what's happening next. Um, let's start on a few hot topics. Uh, one of them is, will you fix the bust the dust kit? And yes, in, in with hope. today's patch update, uh, dust will accumulate significantly slower, which is I think, very happy. Um, in the next patch, we'll further adjust. Uh, they will earn less simoleons from dust bunnies, and Sims will want to clean less. And now the next part, Azure. So for the next part, um, we will talk about when will you add? So uh, we've seen a lot of questions from you guys about specific pack themes and features. Better such babies. As generations packs and cars. And here's what we want you to know. Uh, we love your ideas. I bet all. you do. And yes. I personally really enjoy having those things in my game too. But what we can say is that these suggested packs and highly, highly requested features are always at the top of our mind, especially when we think about what we want to do next. As soon as these things become more real, we'll update you 
right here at Inside Maxis. Yeah. So thank what you. What do we need to do to so... make it more real? Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes give us generations. Uh, <laughs> look at what we do. Um, to bring new content into the game, it involves many, many processes. Uh, we have to take important steps that are a part of the game development process, and often that takes a lot of time. This time is needed to ensure that we meet your expectations and that we're delivering the best quality to you guys. Sometimes there's also fun foundational technology that we need to work on, and sometimes we need to dig into the designs very deeply to make these things happen. Um, we've read a lot of your feedback, and our goal is to be as excited about our packs and, and you to be as excited about our packs and features as we are. Um, we put a lot of heart, and I could say this like truly, we put a lot of heart into what we do, and we try to make as many people as happy as we can. But we also know it's kind of impossible to meet everyone's expectations. Um, the great thing is, as our game continues to grow, and as we look forward to we 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 look forward to delivering more stuff as the game you know goes on uh, for many many more years to come many more um, years to come okay can i pause this i can't uh so this sounds pretty abstract and i completely understand that um to give you a better understanding of what we're talking about we'd like to show you what we're working on in the next patch generations um, is coming next isn't it you guys think generations is coming next processes. or what what do you guys um, think so this is I'm exciting gonna... I can bet you when yes, I read the item descriptions for those pictures, peak, this uh, is going to say generations in those you two. You guys are in for a treat. Nina's going to show you guys. <laughs> I can't. Okay. So you should be able to see the newest hair that will be in the next next. Yeah, the next patch, not this one. That's cute. Um, this one was... I'm I'm really excited to see this, aren't you, Azure? No yes. more kids. Um, <laughs> no more kids. It's inspired. We did a lot of research on this. It's inspired by real world examples. We had game changers uh, that consulted the skin tone update uh, ERGs. Um, you'll see that a lot of care was taken into just kind of perfecting <laughs> the look and the silhouette. Um, uh, just a quick note why you see them as red. This is not like the final only color or something like that. This is uh, so us as artists can uh, better get the highlights and, and low lights. And then after we're done doing that, we, we do like a, a gradient map over it to try and perfect what the colors do look like once they're coming out. And um, let's see. I yeah, like it. I think I think Ooh, they I look like really, it. I think they look really brilliant and I'm really I'm really quite pleased with it. Uh quick note about the the bigger hair, the curlier hair. Um that is not a replacement for the big afro that we see. Let in me the move game. this, sorry. That is uh that is coming later. So please do not get confused between the two. It's cute. I like is it. Is there anything else, Azure? Let's see. I think that that is all that we have for today. That's um, it? Just a very short stream to talk about what's in the patch and to talk about um, some things that we've seen you guys talking about um, online and then also to address some of the things that are going to be coming up in the next stream. So we hope that you guys like this little insight into Inside Maxis. And thank you so guys. much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I mm -hmm. hope you guys have a wonderful day. Yep. Until next time and happy simming. Happy simming. Bye. Happy simming. Click. All right. We going right over to these patch notes. You guys ready for the patch notes? I haven't read them yet. All right, so obviously you can see that part there. Happy spring, Simmers. We hope you are well, whether, wherever, weather, weather. Where did I get that word? That's dyslexic, Matt, coming out. Wherever you are in the world, today we bring to you a plethora of updates and bug fixes. 
there is something for everyone so we hope that you all enjoy these additions as always we thank you for your continued support and feedback happy simming that's from sim guru jill and sim guru Rusky. so what's new we made some updates and improvements to a couple of hair options in create a sim so now c hair puffball and ym hair short afro not only look fabulous but we also provided conversions for adults and toddlers for CF hair puffball and to children and toddlers and for a short afro. Screenshots below for maximum reference. We saw this in the live stream. You can see the baby hairs. There's more detail. There's more texture. It looks so much better. And here's puffball hair. And oh, so they actually provided pictures for all the uh, ages. That's really nice. Awesome. Oh my God, look at how cute this looks on the toddlers. That is so cute. Afro puff, short afro, that looks good. I love that fade, I love that fade, that looks good. And then of course, what it looks like on the toddler here. And if you were wondering what they would look like in different frames, here is a peak. Female frame sims, male frame sims. We have taken the following paintings and posters and given them a few more variants to not only provide more choices in customization for your lots, but also to add diversity in the designs to broaden representation. So I love this. I love so basically these are just base game pictures and paintings that they changed right so you don't even need like any pack for this it's just the base game if you have it you can update your game for free then you have all these new variants that's cool that they did this and i was totally not expecting that i really really like this this is another one that they showed off uh in the live stream um you can see the sim changes uh what's this dramatic cooking poster okay so the text is underneath the picture so this one would be the illustrated sports poster different football players teen idol poster we saw that one as well i think they showed this one off henry puffer <laughs> harry potter just justin fan poster uh the kick it sally soccer poster that's so cool look at that i love that that is cool so these were the original swatches here the three on the left and then these are all of the new ones so not only did they give us new sims you know more ancestors i guess you could say but they also gave us different frame border variants too so you have the light brown you have the dark color and then you have the white border too which looks really cool you guys like this too i love the puff hairs me too oh is my camera blocking i'm sorry i'm gonna move it back to the left i'm sorry I would cut it so it takes up less space, but would you guys be sad if I took Sammy out of the camera? You guys want to see my dog? I'll leave it there because I know you guys want to see my dog. I don't want to take him out. <laughs> you guys are talking about him, so I'm going to leave him in there. He loves lying on the bed. He's going to always be lying there. Uh, we have the mystery poster or the mystery poser antique portrait. Oh my God, this too? I didn't see this. Art in a box? There's new variants of this too. Yeah, guys, I think Generations is next. Do you guys think Generations is gonna be the next expansion pack? I'm feeling like it definitely is gonna be the next expansion pack. I don't know why, I just feel like it is. People saying they talked about traits, they did not. They talked about Bookworm and that they were updated. We do not know what that means for other traits other than, oh, the chat moved. I missed it, I missed it, missed it, I missed it, darn it. Oh my goodness, Big Jello, thank you for the super chat. Can I get a shout out for my guinea pigs, Regina and Ursula? Shout out to uh, Big Jello's guinea pigs. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> but I love this, this is so cute. This is, this is seriously adorable. I love that, the gay couples. Ah! I love that portrait of a marriage. All right, so in addition to adding these spectacular variants, we have also edited some of the text to reflect these changes. We hope you love them as much as we do. Okay, so do you want me to open up the game and look at the descriptions of some of these just to see if they have generations in there now? Because, well, I mean, I don't know if they had generations in there in the first place. It's possible that they could have. I don't know. Don't take Sammy out. Okay, I won't. I'll keep Sammy, I promise. Why is the chat so delayed on my phone? It's annoying. I kind of just want to get my laptop and load up the chat on my laptop. But my laptop's downstairs. Yeah, I don't know. 
Of course, Generations isn't coming. Do you think they wouldn't announce that in combat some of the hate they're getting? No, I think they want to keep it a, a secret and surprise us because I feel like they 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 do that more more often than not. They want to keep things a secret, but then everything just keeps leaking. <laughs> I could bet you if Generations is coming, though, it is going to leak beforehand. All right, so we made some improvements to the visuals of our Sims for Simmers that were affected by improper looking textures, particularly with skin tones in live mode for console players. Console players, if you're watching this live stream, have you updated your game and have you seen improvements to your game? Is it actually working? Because I remember last time that they gave us an update with fixes. Most people didn't see any fixes. There weren't any fixes. If anything, it just made things worse. It went from worse to worser. So let me know if you play on console, if things look better to you. I'd rather hear it from you, to be honest, in the patch notes, because I feel like we've just been down this road too many times, if I'm being honest. You should see improvements with how your sims appear in live mode. This change will also benefit simmers running minimum system requirements on PC and Mac. Good, good, good. So if, even if you're running low graphics settings, you're still going to see these changes. Thank you for your patience on this issue. And as always, we will continue to improve over time. On the gameplay side, we have made some targeted improvements to a selection of base game personality traits to make them more meaningful in gameplay. The idea is to provide these traits a noticeable improvement so that simmers can identify the specific traits with more obvious visual cues and apparent unique behavior. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Do, 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 do. Sorry, just updating the chat here. Is the music really too loud? Look at where I got my music set. The music is set at at 3%. Is that better? 2%? How's that? 1%. Is it 1%? Any lower and it's off. 1% good? 1% good? It's better. Say potato without any context. Potato. Okay. The traits that we have improved are bookworm, cheerful, clumsy, genius, gloomy, glutton, good, goofball, hates children, hot-headed, jealous, mean, neat, non-committal, perfectionist. We also made some reactionary trait changes to slob and ambitious. We think this selection captures a proportional set of positive and negative traits, but wait, there's more. Oh wait, they actually said there's more. I, I didn't even read that part yet. But wait, there's more. We also made some changes to daily activities such as taking a shower or eating a meal that would allow them to be completed in less time. Oh my god, showers in The Sims 4 without mods take so much time. Like, I swear my Sims will be in the shower for three hours. I'm not even lying to you. We hope that you enjoy playing with these changes and we look forward to hearing from you about them. And I think that is it. Yeah, hold on, dot, dot, dot. Let me check my notes for a sec. Look at her bunch of sticky notes, hairs, check. Some tweaks, some tweaks, two traits and everyday activities, check. Painting variants, check. Back end stuff. Ooh, I knew I forgot something. Okay, so there's one more thing. Bunk beds, <laughs> yes. Indeed, bunk beds have been added to The Sims 4. You can now cram twice as many kids, teens, young adults, full grown adults and elders into their sleeping quarters than ever before. So now we can make jails and house more Sims in those jails. <laughs> I know that there was a, a challenge going around at some point where people were doing that, but there were no bunk beds at the time. So now we'll be a good time to do that challenge. Why share the same horizontal space when you can literally sleep above? Yes. Let this be one more way to show whoever gets a lower bunk that you are superior in every way, including elevation. No, I'm a bottom bunk kind of person. Do you guys? Okay. When I had a, a bunk bed as a kid, I was always bottom bunk. Were you bottom bunk too? Or were you top bunk? <laughs> you guys don't. I was always bottom bunk, always. It's more cozy on the bottom. That's what I'm saying. Also, I was one of those kids um, where I like, 
I always had to get up in the middle of the night to like pee or something or get a snack and I had like stomach issues or whatever. So like I was always getting up in the middle of the night. I can never sleep through the night. And when you're on the top bunk and you have to get up in the middle of the night, you gotta move and make all this noise and you climb down and then there's all this noise happens. And then I woke up my siblings, I woke up my parents and I, would, I just did not wanna deal with all that. So I just love being on the bottom bunk. That way I can get up and go pee and come back and nobody would wake up and nobody would be questioning me or bothering me, you know? I could just do my thing. So, who said Matt Bottom confirmed? Y'all need to stop. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Um. Let us be, be okay. We're right here. We've included a basic style bunk bed that matches with the existing mod pod bed from the base game, as well as a metal framed bunk bed to carry out all of your twisted or industrial bunk bed storytelling needs. Awesome. What's more, we've added a new relax posture to all beds so your Sims can now relax in bed while doing relaxing things like watching TV, even from the top bunk. I may never want to leave my bed again and to quote moon five i'm never gonna leave this bed yes oh my gosh that's cool so even when you're talking non-bunk beds all sims can now relax in bed and that's something that we've had missing for a while we could do it in the sims 3 right I think we could do it in The Sims 3. I know we could do it in The Sims 2 because I think that was the only way that you could woohoo. You had to have them both be relaxing in bed to do so. That's what I'm saying. This chat, what happened to this chat? You guys are nasty. <laughs> you guys are nasty. This whole chat. <laughs> what about verse bunk beds? I mean, you do you. Wait, is there really a new trade slot? Is there, is, is there really a new trait slot that was actually passion to the game? Okay, hold on. Let me continue reading here. Um, do, 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 do. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Okay, here we go. You may see on first glance of the bunk beds in the catalog that they have two ladders. That was a very, that was very generous of you and all, but I really only need one ladder, you might say. We're both with you. By default, when you place a bunk bed against a wall, the extra ladder will be automatically cleanly removed. This automatic ladder removal can be toggled on and off via, via auto bunk beds. So just like how they have auto counters for the kitchen, they also have auto bunk beds, which is really cool, which is what I was worried about in the live stream because I was like, well, what if the ladder's on one side and you put the bed up against the wall, but you want to flip it and then, the, you know, the ladder's on the wrong side. So it looks like you can still, you know, have the bunk bed configured any way that you want and still have the ladder on the right side that isn't against the wall. And I was worried about that and I'm happy that they took that into account when making this. So that is really cool. But wait, what is that top bunk when I see sitting next to the bunk beds in the catalog? You might ask, good eye. We can't forget the top bunk hyphen overuse incoming. The all in one bunk bed is intended for ease of use for the more grab and go builder. But for those of you who want to further control your beds makeup, this one's for you. You can use this on its own for the visual interest and excitement of simply sleeping higher up. So is this the loft bed basically? And without having to share your bedroom and you might notice a sprocket icon next to the top bed's color spot UI. Clicking this sprocket will also turn off the auto bunk beds toggle for ladder placement and offer you options to have the ladder on the left, right, or keep two ladders. That's awesome. So you can even keep both ladders if you want. Additionally, you can slot in any existing single bed below the top bunk if you want to get a little more creative with your bunk bed style. For this first iteration of bunk bed placement, for this first iteration of bunk beds, placement of other objects beyond single beds will not be supported. But for those of you who want to experiment, we're excited to see what kind of creative things you come up with from leveraging the move cheat, which is move objects on. Wow. So that's that. Up next, we have the bug fixes. We'll get into that in a second. Let me just refresh the chat and see what you guys are saying right now. I really hope this console will work with this. Yeah, if you guys have console, let me know. How's it going? Also, if um, if you haven't updated, update now. It's free, and I heard that it's two gigabytes, which is actually quite big for a patch update. 
there there is no extra trait slot okay so what's the truth is there or is there not <laughs> First iteration of bunk beds, right? That's what I'm saying. Thank you for the super chat, Angelina, just from the patch today. It just feels like they're starting to prepare the game for generations, in my opinion. Yes, that's what I was just thinking. It, it, it really feels like they're preparing for it. Like, to have bunk beds in the game before generations comes honestly makes me happy because that means that they're going to use those extra resources to give us other things, you know, instead of... Because they could have totally decided to not give us bunk beds for free and throw them in generations. They could have done that, but they didn't. And I'm happy and thankful that they didn't do that. Thank you for streaming today. Lots of love. Sending you love too. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, the um the update's two gigs, guys. Yeah, the extra trait slot is a mod that came out, guys. That's a mod. There was It was not patched in. But if it ever is patched in, I will be very grateful and very thankful. Because that means that console players will be able to have it, you know? Yes, toddlers have bunk beds. I need someone to show me them traits. Um, when we're done this, I think I'm going to load up the game just to take a look myself and just see how things look in my own game. Will you show us in game? Yeah, we'll get to it. Okay, let me keep reading because we do have some more stuff here. So we have bug fixes for the base game. Toddlers when I'll eat the food. Your Sims prepared for them. Thank God. My mom used to say when my siblings and I were children that this is not a restaurant. You eat what I cook for you all. So yeah, a lot of times I saw my sister stay at the table until she finished all her veggies. Her nemesis was spinach, but my mom wishes she had this fix. Yup. Is your sim creating puddles as they drink water? Didn't they, didn't they fix this last time? <laughs> we have tweaked and duct taped every leak your sims could have, so this should no longer occur. Auto solving for hygiene should no longer cue a drink in the interaction queue. Elder adults, young adults, and teen sims can now play dolls with toddlers. Awesome. Our 21st birthday, create a sim assets are now properly displayed with the special birthday icon and tooltip. Cool. As always, this editor and the localization team made some adjustments and perfected some of the text and game across all packs and previous updates. Hashtag fabuloso. Toddlers. Toddlers will still. Wait, toddlers will still throw food on the ground. I hope that this impacts the game a lot since Sims creators hardly ever listen to our opinions. Pet poo fertilizer. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up with the chat. You guys are excited. Update your games if you haven't. Update your games. Uh, all right, get to work. Scientist Sims can now complete the transform grass task. Cats and dogs. Kittens will now age up when given age up treats. Now, why would you ever have your kittens age? Yeah, I would have my kitten and my puppy live forever. Right, Sammy? You guys can't see him. He's so cute. He's just laying there. He's just staring at me. You want some more food? Want some more food? Come on. There's some treats here for him. What's that? What's that? You can eat it, Bubba. He loves it. All right, where was I at? Um, who wants kittens to live forever? Pet poop is now able to be used properly as a fertilizer. Good. This means that no, you are not storing pet poop forever in your Sims inventory. It will now be used again as intended. That should have been a thing from the start. Oh, wait, mate. Oh, wait, it was, wasn't it? It was. I don't remember. I don't ever play with pets, so I don't know. <laughs> I can't play with pets in my Sims games. They honestly get annoying in my opinion. I always forget to take care of them or feed them and they end up running away. So I never play with pets anymore. Seasons, ever heard that saying it is as useless as plowing the sea? What? Is that a Venezuelan saying only? Well, those maids that were mopping puddles while in a thunderstorm, that's a thing in the past, the immediate past. Yes, oh my God, thank God. For those who are polar bear enthusiasts, we have great news. The polar bear plunge tradition is now able to be celebrated. Good, good, good. While there aren't as many uh, bug fixes for each pack as I thought that they were going to be, if I'm honest with you guys. What happened? Y'all all telling me go look at the new teaser. What's on Twitter? Hold on. What happened? 
I have notifications off on my phone because I'm live and I don't want to be annoyed, you know? Hold on. Oh my god, it's true! There is a new trade slot coming! What? I don't see the teaser, though. Wait, what? Hold on. Before I say anything, let me just make sure this is right. Let me just make sure this is right. Sims community just posted. The Sims 4 new trait slot in cast and new hair colors are coming. Wait, they did they really say new trait slot in the stream? I didn't even hear that. <laughs> what? I didn't even hear that. <laughs> I didn't even hear it. <sighs> what? They didn't. Wait, so did they or did they not? Because I don't remember. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember. Hair colors, please let it be a swatch. Pull it up on stream. We just watched the stream. Yeah, I was just on Twitter. I didn't see anything else. What the hell is that noise? Sammy, what's that? Go get him. Go get him. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Get him, Sammy. Yeah. Go get him. Do you guys hear that too? Go get it. Go get him. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. 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 Get him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. You tell him. You tell him. Okay, let me keep reading. Where were we at? Where were we at? Where were we? Okay, global, gl global, global superstar Sims will no longer get the react with disgust from other Sims, especially on their wedding. Really? This was a thing? Oh my God. Yeah. Thank God that was fixed. Fix an issue with insect farms that were displaying ready to collect when they actually were not. Hold your tiny insect horses, little guys. What vertical gardens are evolving? Fixed an issue in which vertical gardens didn't evolve when they were both in the ready to evolve and ready to harvest state. The community voting board has been found and reinstated in build mode. However, cafes, restaurants, and vet clinics will have to wait for a future update as it will still as it will be still missing for these lot tides. Okay, so loving that off the grid life, but suddenly plumbing is required. Wait, what? Say no more. We have now made it so that the eating slash drinking cereal, milk, juice, yogurt, and water doesn't require plumbing. <laughs> Wait, why would milk, well, even cereal require plumbing? Is there a cereal bar plumbing system I don't know about in the game? Wouldn't that be filled with soggy cereal? I have questions. <laughs> Ew, soggy cereal. I hate soggy cereal. The best way to keep cricket flour is to store it in the refrigerator now you can have your flour ready to use extra fresh and crisp crunchy we have also made it possible to store beetle nuggets bombardier beetle nuggets and grub meal oh my gosh all right we're coming down to the end guys parenthood parent sims were your teens misbehaving? You grounded them, but they keep doing mischievous things. We have fixed an issue with teens misbehaving stealthily while grounded via the phone. My parents grounded me in person, but hey, whatever works. Journey to Babu? We fixed an issue in which Babu alien residents did not have the correct look. However, this fix is not retroactive and will be seen fixed in new saves i see so existing saves it's not fixed basically but if you create a new save then it will be fixed there if that makes sense okay so down to the last two nifty knitting sims can resume knitting after being interrupted while knitting thank god the beginner's yarn basket is now properly tagged under skill building objects in sims inventories okay bust the dust we retrained our adorable yet filthy dust bunnies to not appear quite so often. We also made some tweaks to the dust situation and we hope now that it doesn't accumulate as frequently as it has. What's your favorite name for your dust bunny? Mine is... Okay, so let's talk a bit about these dust bunnies. 
what are your thoughts on the dust bunnies is anyone else just annoyed by them and like like at first like when they were like teasing them and premiering them i was like oh this is cute this will be fun to play with it's different it's quirky you know the sims 4 is all about its quirkiness but like is anyone just now like what the hell these things are fucking annoying <laughs> pardon my language but like after playing with them for a few weeks i'm like just get rid of them i'm tired of it why can't we just have like regular dust you know like why can't we just have regular dust just regular old dust like dust 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 you know not dust that me 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 that you can talk and be friends with yeah it's just like i'm definitely one of those people that likes the um the realism with the sims that's the main reason why i play and i feel like that definitely it's cute and fun but it definitely takes away from that realism you know never yeah been annoying still is annoying never bought it never will dust bunnies are annoying dust bunnies are the devil i don't have the pack so i don't know Ooh, a lot of you are saying you don't have the pack did you guys how many of you bought it i wish i could put a poll in the chat but i can't how many of you bought it and how many of you didn't buy it i'm curious to see i vacuum one room then go downstairs they're like gremlins kits are cash grabs they really are yeah i mean just letting you know the only reason why i have the kits is because um I was given um, codes to review them from EA. I was not gonna buy them with my own money. Y'all thought I was gonna spend my own money on that? <laughs> nope. I don't have it. Yeah, don't buy them. They're not worth it. Okay, only get them if they go on sale for like 50%. If they go on sale for like 50%, maybe get them. If they're like $2.50, okay, cute. I can see them as kind of you know being worth the um the money but full price nope <laughs> nope baby no nope, baby it ain't it you didn't buy that oh my god a lot of you did not buy them what i kind of want to make a straw poll just so i can see like exactly not me not me not me didn't buy didn't buy i have it i don't well i don't blame you guys seriously I bought it, still haven't used it. I put the Bust the Dust and play with the game, but they didn't show it all. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with them too. And some of the issues appear to have been fixed with this, but not fully. All right, are we ready to load up The Sims 4, guys? If I can even get Origin to load. Hold on. Let me figure out why I can't get Origin to load. Oh my god, the Sims 4, there's no icon for the Sims 4 on my computer. Okay, I found it. You bought it and you regret it, you wish you could return it. <laughs> I mean, if you bought it from Walmart, take it on back, baby. <laughs> if you bought it from Walmart, take it on back. But I don't know if Origin accepts returns. I, I, I doubt it. I got my Sims Camp shirt on. It's comfy keeps me warm capitalism is good if the kit works <laughs> put a poll oh yeah put a poll on community tab i'll do that after the stream okay it's updating my game now automatically keep a game up to date yes please i would appreciate it oh my god mine doesn't say two gigabytes my update says 8.19 gigabytes anyone else's update say eight gigabytes instead of two what the heck? Please tell me that's uncompressed or something because what are they putting in my game that is eight gigabytes? Thank you for the, thank you for the, um, for the super chat. I forgot what the word was for a minute. Thank you for the super chat, Big Jello. I appreciate it. I can't read that. What is that even? I don't know what that's saying. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means, but thank you. I love you. <laughs> 90s kit is good. Okay, my game is still updating. Hold on. It's taken a while. I didn't I just wasn't expecting it to be eight gigabytes. I thought it was two. Everyone was saying it was two. 
my goodness. Naya, thank you for the super chat. I'll spend five dollars on a super chat, but not on kits. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that means a lot. All right, it says finalizing and then we're going to load up the game. OK, guys, I need I need just one more second. Oh, wait, all my mods are going to be broken, aren't they? <gasps> Hold on, let me just check. Where's my mods folder? I should have removed my mods folder before updating. What if all my stuff gets corrupt and I have to go and get all of it again? That would suck so bad. All right, we're loading into the game now. There we go. Is it working? Can you guys see the game? Can you see the game? Thank you for the sticker, Saigon22. I really appreciate it. No, you're number one. Thank you, Zanetta. I really appreciate it. And I hope that I like, I just want to thank you all for being here today. Like you could have totally just went over to EA Max's stream and watch there, but you chose to come here and watch me instead. Like, do you know how much that means to me? Like you took time out of your day to come and watch me. Like what? Thank you. You guys are awesome. Wait, did it just say that mods and custom content were disabled? Hold on, let me enable custom content. Who gave you permission to turn my mods off, girl? Who gave you permission? Now that means we have to restart the game, right? Yeah, let's restart the game now because I need my mods and custom content. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Thank you, 27. I appreciate it. I'm more interesting. I would beg to differ. <laughs> you, you risked school? Are you on your phone in school? Get off your phone right now before I snatch that phone out of your hand, boy. <laughs> Rest in peace, kits 2021 to 2021. You guys, give them a chance. Give them a, hey, you can't, you, you guys got to give them a chance with the kits. What if they give us the Sims 4 improved baby kit? Wouldn't you buy that? Come on. Wouldn't you buy the Sims 4 improved baby kit? I know you would. Best $5 ever spent, right? Or no. <laughs> I feel like that's going to come in the um, patch update before generations. Bookmark this right now. Screenshot, screen record, bookmark, save, download, TikTok, Stitch, Duet, whatever you want to do. Generations is going to be the next expansion pack and the patch update before will up will improve the babies because they know if they would dare to put improved babies in generations, everybody would go. People would be pissed. People would be pissed. They would. Improved baby, it would cause a riot. That's what I'm saying. If they put improved babies in an expansion and then have the nerve to say $40. Bitches, no. <laughs> that wouldn't fly. That wouldn't fly. All right, let's try out these bunk beds, guys. They need to be free. Sims 4 move that baby kit. It should, yeah, it should have been a base. Yeah, it should have been a base game, period. It should have been a base game. You're right. Let me change your outfit. I don't want YouTube to demonetize thinking that I'm showing off naked people, but it's that's not the case here at all. Let me... Change, change, change the outfit. How do I change the outfit? I'm just gonna have to go into MCCC, into the dressers, change outfit into the everydays. All right, let's try out the bunk beds, guys. Let's see what this is all about. All right, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete all the stuff in here. My game froze. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. My game had froze for like two seconds. Is this one of the pictures? No, it's not. It's all base game stuff. All right. Oh, here they are. Okay, here they are, guys. I found them. I found them. Ooh. I love these. All right, let's look through. I'm gonna need them to update babies already. Me too. 
Skip my Zoom lecture to watch the stream. Thank you, Naya. Thank you for the super chat. I love these. These are cute. I'm glad they gave us a lot of swatches. I was worried because in one of my videos about the bunk beds, that was like one of the top comments was, please give us a lot of swatches. Please give us a lot of swatches and good swatches. And it looks like we got both. We got both. And I know that custom content creators and, you know, modders and all that, we're going to get more bunk beds and more swatches. So don't worry. That will be coming. I'm still waiting for the color wheel though. I don't think we're going to get a color wheel, but it would be really cool if we did. All right. So I'm going to place this here just because I want to test the um, animations for it. So I'm going to have her go relax in bed. Go relax in bed. Let's see. Let's let's see how this goes here. Animations are good. Animations are good. Good. All right, let's transition to sleep. Perfect. Wait, you're not telling me she can't go from relax to sleep without getting out of the bed first. Oh, she was going to change? Girl, get your booty off the camera. Okay. It seems like they fixed this, the stability of the game. It's smoother. Look at that. Guys, they're, they're stepping up. They're stepping up. All right, get out of bed. I think the animations look good. Self woohoo from Slice of Life, I think. It's either Slice of Life or Wicked Whims. I have both, so I don't know. But I'm not sure. All right, come sit on the sofa. So, and move this out here. That's right, we don't even have a laundry basket anymore. Okay, so let's try out. And I, oop, my game froze again. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, bunk beds, bunk beds, bunk beds. Okay, so here's the other one that we have. Which one do you guys like more? The metal one or the wood? Personally, I kind of like the metal one more and I'm surprised. Whoa, I love that. And you can just disconnect them like that. That's cool. I love that. So instead of getting a whole new bed, you can just basically add to it or just remove from it. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, so the animations are just like normal, basically. There really isn't anything different about it. It just adds the climbing up and then getting into the bed. Yeah, cool. Good. All right, let's check out some of the color swatches on this one. You guys like the metal one more too? I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought that. All right, let's look here. We got the yellow. Anytime I see yellow, I think of Spring Sims. I love Spring Sims. White. Ooh, I love that. The black and red. And I like how you can change so you can make like the bottom one fit, you know, the personality of whoever's on the bottom bunk and then the top one fit the personality of who's on the top. I love that. They don't have to be the same thing. That's really cool. Look, you got the baseballs on top and then you got the flowers on the bottom or the, what are those little lightning bolts or whatever? <laughs> the flash. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. I love that. I'm glad that they did that. All right. So now let's look at the descriptions because it would not be a pixelated video or stream without doing some speculation and some dissection. So we got to find the new objects or the updated objects. Wait, let's read the let's read the descriptions. The Mod Pod line has done it again. If you enjoy the clean and simple lines of the contemporary Mod Pod sleeper bed, you will definitely like this version. The Mod Pod top bunk will make you, that's like a tongue twister, will make you feel as if you were sleeping in a cloud, quite literally in the sky even. Well, sort of, you know what I mean, I think. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Uh, the Mod Pod collection keeps growing. Who needs a bunk bed with one ladder? As if. Twin ladders is what you need. Modern living and convenience. There is nothing else that says efficiency that this version of the Mod Pod. Just be careful not 
to bonk your head. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to come across the word generations in one of these descriptions. I'm calling it now. I could be wrong, though, but we're going to keep reading. We're going to keep reading. Fancy sleeping with the view. Top view, that is. The metal frame top bunk brings you the feeling of being in a bunk bed without the extra well bed and all the extra hardware. Why have two when what you need is only one? And by the way, it is the better one. Okay. Uh, last bed and then we're gonna look at some of the pictures and stuff these days optimizing our personal space is more important than ever if you are looking to optimize a room for two just two without breaking the bank the metal frame bunk bed is right for you two basic never simplicity at its finest this bunk bed is perfect okay blah 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 okay no generations in those i expected if there's going to be generations hints they're going to be in the pictures so now we got to find they're like where are they at they're under they're under here base game I wish there was a way that I can sort out custom content because I don't want to see the custom content in here. Oh, sorry guys. Give me a second. It's going to be hard for me to find these. I've got so much custom content in here. I don't know. Okay. Hold on. This was one of the updated ones, right? Okay. I'm looking for word generation. Hold on. Okay. It ain't none of those. It's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> it's going to happen. <gasps> Can you put stuff under the bed? Thank you for the super chat. Let me check real quick. Thank you. Dark lovely for the super chat as well. All right. Let me, let me check real quick. If we can, if we can do that. Where's the other pictures? They said they updated the descriptions of them, didn't they? I swear I'm not going crazy. I swear. Wait, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's another one, right? It's this one, right? No, it doesn't say generations. Uh, I really thought they were going to do it. Hold on. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Art in a box featuring portraits and a few compelling landscapes from around the world. This array of paintings was carefully curated to suggest art that has been inherited over generations. <laughs> no, hold on. Has that always been there? Has that always been in this one? Hold on. Okay, they said they updated, but which one did they update? Did they update this one or has that always said that? Because I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, you said the couple one. All right, let me find the couple one. Where's the couple? Okay, this couple was painted in their first years of marriage when the bloom of love was still young and new. Hopefully their love burned brightly over their whole lives, but we definitely know that in the painting, at least, their love is preserved forever. Beautiful. Okay. So where's the couple one? Or this is the couple one, isn't it? Oh, it is the couple one. Darn. The description doesn't change. There is no generations in this one. Did they update the description for this one, though? This is the one that I want to know. Because I know that they updated the swatches. Yeah, look, they updated the swatches. But this description that we get with this, is that new? <gasps> it is new? You guys are saying it's new. <laughs> ah, I knew it. Could you try to save your game and see if you get an error code? Yes. And thank you for the super chat, Kelly. I really appreciate it. Let me save my game really quickly. You said saving your game gives you an error? No error for me. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down some bunk beds and we are going to try and just place some everyday objects underneath and just see how the interactions with them work. So we're going to place one loft bed. What do you guys want to put underneath? Maybe like a desk and a computer or something? We'll do that. We'll put a desk and a computer. What? 
Maybe it's too big. <gasps> so you do need move objects. Color me shocked. I really thought that they were gonna make it so you didn't need it, but that's right. They, they did put something in there about move objects, didn't they? Yeah, you need Moo. That's what I thought. You need Moo. And even if you can put stuff, doesn't it kind of look weird to you if it's there? It just, I don't know. Something about it looks a little strange to me. I don't know. Well, let's just throw something down here. I want to put a desk that actually looks like it would fit there, you know? So because of this metal bed, I'm going to put a metal desk. I don't know which one though. Hold on. Sorry. I'm just deciding. Give me a second. Okay, we'll put that one then. We'll sell this guitar. Put a computer chair and we'll put a computer down. Ooh, let's put a custom content computer. I like this one. Ooh, look at that keyboard. It's cute. Oh, there's no other swatches. Okay. All right, let's try this out here. Please don't run into problems. Please don't run into problems. All right, let's see if we can buy a strip club. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Play GTA 5. Okay. No. <laughs> Wait, I can't use the computer unless I sit down at the chair. Anybody else have that glitch too? You can't use the computer unless your Sims are sitting at the chair. Yeah. Well, she can use the computer. It's working. She's playing GTA 5. Hmm. Oh, you, you also want me to try the um, toddler bed too? Okay, we can. All right, let's go up. Let's sleep up top. <gasps> she can't get... It looks bad here because look, the pole goes through the desk. I don't. She's going to be able to sleep now. What? She's still. Oh, so you can't place a desk under it. I'm kind of disappointed with that. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with that. Move the table. What table? Well, yeah, I did. I, I, I moved it over. She still can't get it. Yeah. Well, let's try a dresser. Let's see if she can climb up top with a dresser underneath. Yeah, your Sims can't use the bed if you put something underneath of it, basically. That's what I'm collecting from this. Yeah. You said alt place it. Let me just put a small object and see if it'll work. Are you serious? Even if I put a small object? How about if I move it over to the corner? Okay, so she can... Okay, if I, if I put it here, she can do it. So I guess it is possible, but you have to like move it all the way over. So I guess you can't put a desk in a computer. You probably can't put a large dresser. How about if I put a dresser over here? Okay, she can do that. Okay, 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 okay. She can do that. What about the single tile desks? Okay, let me try that. Hold on.
Do 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 I not have any or am I just blind? Okay, never mind. That is an ugly chair. I don't know why I chose that. Yes, okay. Okay, guys, the single tile desks work. You cannot put a regular desk. It won't work if you do that. Confirmed. <laughs> okay, that makes me happy. I don't have any toddlers in my household, so I can't like, you know, show off what that looks like. What song is this? This is pretty. Wait, did we even get them for toddlers? I swear I heard her say that we got them from toddlers. Oh, we didn't get a toddler bunk bed. Yeah, but you want me to put a toddler bed under it? Okay, yeah. And put a regular bed and then we'll put a bunk bed. Do, 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 do. That would be so cute. That does not match at all. <laughs> Hold on. That's better. That's so weird. Why do you think that is that you can't place a regular desk here, but you can place a toddler bed and still access the top? I don't know. Try a normal bed. Okay. It's probably not going to work for, for, for a normal bed. You mean like one that isn't a part of the bunk? Just throwing like a regular bed like this down? Is that what you mean? It actually should work. I think they configured it like that, so it should. Yeah, I think they configured it like that. So if you wanted to put a regular bed down here, you can. Or like, or just a different bed, you know? Yeah, it works. Cool. I like that. That's cool. A little disappointed about the desk, but it is what it is. Oh, well, you know? Oh, well, oh, well. All right. I think that's going to be it for the stream. Um, the heck was that noise? I want to thank you all for watching. Um, that's going to be it. Fl oh, flip the bottom bed. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you guys want to see before I um, end the stream? Let me know now. Speak now or... Oh my God, my game's... Look, my game's lagging again. I take back what I said earlier. Speak now or forever hold your peat. You can't. You can't flip it. When you flip it, it automatically recorrects to this way. Now, how about if you pull it away from the wall? Nope, even if you pull it away from the wall, you have to have the head of the bottom bed on the opposite side of the ladders. That's the only way that you'd be able to function with this bed. And then when you place it up against the wall, you see the ladder that's in the back, it disappears. I like that, that's cool. <clears throat> and my game is really laggy for some reason again. So here are the things here. We have twin ladders, right ladder, and left ladder. An automatic bunk bed placement is off. Click again to turn on. So I'd rather just have it on, but just know that if you want to, you can configure it yourself like this and you can see that it changes in the picture too. I like that, but personally, I'll just keep it on. But I like that they give you that, you know, added custom, custom, customize, custom, Custom ability, customizability. What's the word? <laughs> oh, traits, 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 traits. Okay. 
Um, you said put a couch underneath. This is a two seat. Okay, she probably won't be able to climb up in bed. Yep, I expected that because it's too far to the left. It's too close to the ladder. Let's move it over to this side. No, she can't get to the bed with the... No, she can still sit there. No. All right, let's try um, a chair. Let's try one chair there. Nope, she can't get to the top bunk with the chair there. Let's move it over here. Okay, there we go. So you can, in a way. That's cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, traits. So, create a sim, basically. I mean, there's nothing that I can really test with the traits because they just basically changed how they function in the game. And the only way that you will be able to see that is at, like with like as you're playing the game, you know. <laughs> oh, is it quicker eating? All right, let's do that. Let's test that real quick, too. What should we have her do? I'll just have her make. um. Make pancakes, make something quick. Oh my God, I'm getting annoyed that my game keeps lagging like this. Stop. What the heck? I'm like getting low frame rate for no reason. We'll do the eating and then we'll do the shower next. I'm gonna do the eating first just because she's super hungry. I think they said that it would. Okay, that makes sense. Girl, you're in the middle of cooking. Why are you vacuuming? Where are you going? No, you are you are cooking on the stove. Don't go to class. Why would you, do you want to burn your house down? Why would you leave pancakes on the stove and then go to class? Are you stupid? Eat your pancakes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, eating is faster. Eating is definitely faster. I swear it took way longer before. Eating is faster. Okay, my game is smooth again. Kind of. And we'll try shower next. Let's see the shower. A tad. It feels a tad faster. The eating feels a lot faster. That's just my opinion though. What do you guys think? Did it seem did it seem noticeable to you? Alright, anything else before I go? Your game is updating. No, I'm not getting low frame rates because I'm streaming at the same time. Trust me, with my computer, it can handle it. It's the game because now look, it's perfectly fine. And plus, I get it all the time even when I'm not streaming. It'll just randomly drop from 60 frames to like 15 and it'll stay there and then it'll go back. It makes no sense. And I know other people get, like have this issue with their game too. Do you guys experience that too where your game just randomly drops frames for no reason? Your game does the same thing. I think it's it's just something wrong with the, the game engine. I don't even know if they could even fix it at this point. There's so many packs and stuff. Yeah, my, my update was eight gigs too. TV from bed. Like TV from the bunk bed. Could you even do that in the first place? I wonder if she'll even be able to climb up here with this on the wall. Oh, she can. <laughs> oh, wait, I shouldn't have had her sleep. I should have had her relax. My bad. I hate how she has to get out of her bed to relax, though. Watch movie. Watch Simder. Yes! <laughs> yes! Huh. 
That is what's up. Is that new, guys? I don't ever remember being able to do that. I remember doing that in old Sims games, but I don't, I just don't have any memory of doing that in The Sims 4. Is that new? That's cool. Yeah, watch TV. She's watching it from bed. She keeps trying to go to university class though and it's pissing me off. No, stay home. Play hooky. That's definitely a win. It's new. You guys are saying it's new. Oh. Watch TV. I'm obsessed with this right now. That's cool. All right, I think I'm going to end it. If, if if there's other things, guys, the update's free. Go download. Go explore. Go have fun yourself. Go, go, go do it yourself. It's free. You can download it right now. It's for everyone. Console, PC, Mac. It doesn't matter. Go download. I want to thank you guys for clicking and watching this stream. Um, in about half an hour, it's going to be up publicly, so you can watch it again if you want. Or if you miss some of it, you can go back and do all that good stuff. But um, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the super chat, Christine. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super sticker. I didn't show traits. I'm going to stop here. If you guys go download and play, it's free. Go, go do it. I'm going to leave a little bit for you guys to explore. I did put a nightstand under. I, I think that was a nightstand. It was like a custom content. It was it was one tile and it, it, it could let you sleep at the top bunk with it underneath. So I think a nightstand will be fine. A nightstand and a desk. Oh, Cass. Should I do Cass? There's nothing to show. We already saw it in the stream though. Yes, yes, no, maybe so in the chat. What do you want? You want me to do it or not? If, cause we already saw it, but if you want me to, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Marie, for the super chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Why y'all got to say yes? <laughs> All right. I lied. I'm going to end the stream. <laughs> I'm not doing that. We already saw it in the in the patch notes. All right, I'm ending it. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out and um I will see you all next time. I love you so 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 much. Um yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys.